In this last video for Unit 3, Learning Set 4, you're going to learn about the average daily balances and finance charges. So when a credit card company bills you a finance charge for your balances left on the account, they don't do it just based on the last balance on the last day of the billing cycle. They take the balance for each day within the billing cycle and average it so that it is fair to both the consumer and the lender. Rebecca did not pay last month's credit card bill in full. Below is a list of Rebecca's daily balances for her last billing cycle. Find Rebecca's average daily balance. So the first thing that I do is I take and I put it in kind of a grid of numbers to make it easier to identify what we need to do with each thing. So for seven days she owed $456.11. I would, under a days column, list the number of days. And then under daily balances, I would list what the balance was for each of those days. So in this case, it was seven days at $456.11 each day. For the next line, it's three days. So it would be three days, and she owed $1,177.60. And I would do that for each of the other days in the billing cycle. Now, if you look, you notice that the billing, the daily balances are vary. So if we were to do a finance charge based on the balance at the very beginning and we carried higher balances throughout the rest of the month or the billing cycle, you would see that the, the lender would kind of get shortchanged with the finance charge. But on the other hand, if you look at our huge balance at the at the end of the billing cycle, if they were to charge the finance charge at that point based on that amount, then you would be paying a much higher finance charge rate. So that is why they use an average daily balance to make it more equitable. Now, the first thing you want to do when we're averaging things, we take the, the total and then we divide it by the number of items. So in this case, it would be the total of all of the daily balances divided by the number of days in the billing cycle. So the first thing we need to do is calculate how many days are in the billing cycle. So you add all the days together, and we end up with 30 days in the cycle. And this could change from month to month. And if you think about it, it's because we don't have the same number of days in every month. And typically with, with, with credit cards, they bill you on the same date each month. So if they bill you on the 12th of September, then your next bill is going to be on the 12th of October and then the 12th of November and so forth. So because some days have 31 months, some some months have 31 days, some months have 30 days, it creates a difference of the number of days in the billing cycle. The next step would be to sum up the daily balances. Now, I could take and sum $456.11 seven times and then add three $1,177.60, but that would be a lot of adding. And an easier way to do that would be to take the number of days times the number of, the number of days times the balance you had for each of those days. So, for example, the first one would be seven days times $456.11. The second one would be three days times $1,177.60. And you would add each of those that you multiplied until you get to the sum daily balance for Rebecca of $43,248.05. So the last step would be to take the sum of daily balances and divide it by the number of days in the cycle. And this would give us an average of approximately $1,441.601667. And because we are dealing with money, we want to remember to round it up to the second decimal position. And when we do that, Rebecca's average daily balance was $1,441.60. And we are going to take that average daily balance and calculate her finance charge now. So her APR is 18%. And remember, 
ATR is annual percentage rate, but the billing cycle only covers a month. So we have to remember when we're calculating out the finance charge that we have to convert <clears throat> the monthly APR into, or we have to convert the annual APR into a monthly amount. So you would take that 18% divided by 12, and that means our finance charge is 1.5% of our average daily balance for each month. So for the, this month, we would take Rebecca's average daily balance of $1,441.60, multiply it times our monthly APR, which would be 0.015, because we need to remember it's a it's a percent, so we need to convert it to a decimal. And we would wind up with a finance charge for that billing cycle of $21.62.